Hi, welcome to an AutoCAD 2020 video tutorial. Today I want to show you how to do a fully parametric and associative model in AutoCAD. You have to use parametric constraints, parametric dimensions and surfaces. Just to prove, I select those surfaces and with the properties I could change the height of that extrusion, maybe to 10. I've used parametric dimensions, therefore I have dimensions in my parametric or parameters manager and I could change those values, let's say to 100, it adjusts, let's change that fillet over here to let's say 10, let's move one hole, that would be this dimension 60 and you could even adjust the size of those holes make this one let's say 40 so you see it's completely associative and parametric now how to do this let's have fun with AutoCAD so at first I want to draw the contours without using parametric so let's go for a rectangle, deactivate that info constraints, don't forget this one. So let's go for a rectangle, which should be 120 by 80. Now add a circle on that endpoint, radius 15, move it to the correct location, like this with 40 by 50. Draw another circle on that corner. Radius should be 25 and again move it. Right click in that direction, minus 35, column 35. Add fillets, multiple, start with the biggest one, 50 up here, now change to 30, down there, change to 10, upper right corner, lower left corner. Okay, now move this, completely right click, base point should be the apparent intersect of this line with that line, and move this to hashtag zero zero, like this. Now let's go for auto constraint, parametric auto constraint. Enter. Hide all those constraints. Now add the dimensions. Point. Point. This should be 120. That's okay. From this point to that point over here. Repeat from center to that point this should be 50 this distance should be 40 that distance 35, this distance 35, add a diameter 30 and 
50 add the radius this should be 50 this one should be 10 that one should be 10 and the last one should be 30. Now I got my parameters manager over here. I got all those parameters. And now I want to do extrudes with surfaces. So I'll switch to different layer. Maybe I go for the orange one. Go to surface and make extrudes. So I want to extrude this polyline, this one and that one. Right click and I make it five like this. Now to close that I will use a patch, go for a chain and select that edge, enter Enter. Now I could trim, I want to trim first, trim this surface, right click, enter with that one and this one. And I want to remove this one and that one. Enter. Now patch that down below I could hide that sketch go for another patch select this edge so go for a chain like this right click enter enter now trim once more trim this surface right click enter with that one and this one right click remove those regions and of course i should let's hide that for the moment switch to the sketches layer and make it visible and hide those surfaces for the moment at least and the sketch should be visible I will have to fix with that constraint let's say this point here now hide the sketches, show the surfaces, show these, switch maybe to that layer as well and hide the sketches. Now I could change the height of those extrusions and it would adjust my model accordingly maybe from 5 to 10 and I could change those values by double clicking here or using the parameter manager so let's do it here let's go for 120 and change it to 140 change this one let's say to 100 change maybe that radius that would be this one, the 51, select it here, that's the this one, no, that's the diameter, where's the radius, that's the radius, and change this one to let's say 30. And you see, it's completely parametric and associative. And I'm done. So I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please subscribe to my Facebook cat fan page. It would be very nice of you. I want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well. So thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye-bye.